the eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers in arms on all other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Normandy is the largest amphibious military invasion in history. The military planners of the invasion had given Canada a major role on D-Day to take one of the five designated beaches where Allied forces were to land to begin the liberation of Europe from Nazi Germany. The Americans had Utah and Omaha beaches in the west, the British had Gold and Sword Beach in the east, and finally the Canadians at Juneau Beach. There were about 155,000 soldiers, 5,000 ships and landing craft, 50,000 vehicles and 11,000 planes set for the coming battle. From Canada, 14,000 soldiers were to land on the beaches. Another 450 were to drop behind enemy lines by parachute or glider. Sam Rose was one of those soldiers dropped from the sky. So the question looms, what would possess a man to risk his life and go to war? In 1939, when the war broke out, I kept reading in the paper and I'm trying to start what Hitler did mostly to the Jewish people. He gathered them up in Warsaw, that's in Poland, and the city where I was born was in Poland was Skierniewicz. And I didn't like the idea what Hitler did to all the Jewish people, gathered them all up. Whether they were business people or, or not, they treated them like a worse than cattle. In the heat of the battle, only the strong survive. And Sam Rose came to France with a mission and didn't waver from his goal of defeating the Nazi regime who were overtaking Europe with unconscionable savagery. With ten men to look after, he had to be tough and alert at all times, relying on his two years of grueling training as a Navy commando. So I got mad. I told the Sergeant Cook, put that field bore out. Reconnaissance planes, German, to see here, uh, take pictures. He says, why? I says, you want to be alive or you want to be a dead duck? They listened to me. I knew all about the reconnaissance planes taking pictures, you know, and then the Air Force would come and go da 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 da. Everybody was scared. There wasn't such a thing to be a, a dead hero. We had to take precaution. That's no lie. Even under the horrific conditions of war, being constantly fired at and bombed by the German soldiers, Sam Rose demonstrated the true mark of a hero, compassion. A few weeks subsequent to the landing on Juneau Beach, while under heavy artillery fire by the enemy on multiple fronts, Sam heard a young girl crying from a bombed out house in a small village he was passing by. And going against higher ranking orders, he went into the house and saved the French girl. And in Khan, a house was bombed. We saw a little girl, around 16, 17 years old. And she was crying there. So I stopped my motorcycle, and my men were behind. I said, I'm going to see where that noise is coming from. So it was a French girl. So some French fellas were in my section. So I told them, speak to her in French. And uh, if she would like to come along with us. She was all alone? She was all alone. Her parents were dead. That's why she was crying there. That was the Yeah. 
So anyway, she agreed. So we sort of adopted her. And I gave her a uniform. And whatever we ate, she ate. She did our laundry for us. And I took her to a medical officer. And he gave her a half cc in her arm. You know, if any diseases, anything she had. We also got it ourselves. He came along to the rest. To the end of the war. Even with countless hours of military preparation and allied coordination, once war breaks out, chaos and confusion reign supreme. And there's no way around it. It's not like the movies. It's real life. And things never go as planned. Sometimes in the murky blaze of smoke and fire, even your allies become your enemies. People think war is a lot of fun. It's hell. The only way to survive, be alert. Like a lot of the boys wanted to have souvenirs, not in the bomb houses. But those bomb houses, they had uh, booby traps. You know what a booby trap is? So I told him, before you go into that house, take a hand grenade, we you call them pineapple. Pull the pin out and throw it before you go into the house. Otherwise, you'll be a dead duck. What if there's prisoners in there waiting for you? You gotta be alert. You have to run out of the way. And that's no lie. That's the God's honest truth as I'm sitting here talking to you. 14,000 Canadians landed on D-Day. About 5,400 Canadian soldiers are buried in Normandy. Sam Rhodes was one of the lucky ones. He made it through, but suffered major hearing damage in both ears from the unrelenting bombardment off the beaches and from inland assaults. When he returned home from the war, Sam saw that clusters of anti-Semitism were appearing now in Toronto. Just as he had always done, Sam never backed down from the face of hatred and evil. He went straight to the home of a neo-Nazi printing press in downtown Toronto and took out the entire place with a single baseball bat. And the guy had a, a, a printing press, one of the Nazis printing. And he had a few people there with him. So Dr. Cezanne, he's a very close friend of mine, and he told me about it. So I got a few fellas. We went down there, and we let them have it. Baseball bats. Baseball bats. The police wanted to know why we did it. We don't like no Nessies to be in Canada. Joseph Campbell said, A hero is someone who has given his or her life to something bigger than oneself. Bob Dylan said a hero is someone who understands the responsibility that comes with his freedom. The conventional dictionary definition of hero is a man of distinguished valor or enterprise in danger, or fortitude in suffering, a prominent or central personage in any remarkable action or event, hence a great or illustrious person. No matter what the definition we are speaking about, Sam Rose fits the bill. When evil showed its face in the world, Sam answered the call. Without the courage of Sam Rose and hundreds of thousands of other soldiers who traveled to the beaches of France to wipe out the evil Nazi empire of the 1940s, there's no telling where the world would be today. Sam is a hero for all of mankind, and certainly he will always be a hero from the beaches of Normandy.